I'm Anita Taylor, I'm director of the Trinity Boy Wolf Drawing Prize, which is an annual open exhibition held in the UK and selected in the UK, but with applicants from over 40 countries. This year the exhibition had 3,445 entries by around 1,450 drawing practitioners, and we've had two selection panels choose the exhibition. So the main award and exhibition has been selected by Laura Hopman, the Executive Director of the New York Drawing Centre, Dennis Scholl, who's an arts patron and collector, and also an artist and filmmaker, and Barbara Walker, a British artist who's nominated this year for the Turner Prize. The Working Drawing Award had a separate panel, uh, and that was selected by Ben Heath, who's a principal with Grimshaw Architects. Uh, ben Heath from Grimshaw Architects. Um, one of the judges for the uh, Working Drawing Prize for the Trinity Boy Wharf uh, Drawing Prize. Um, it's been a pleasure to, to judge it, the kind of huge variety that you can get out of a drawn submission has been uh, mind-blowing. And uh, with, the working, with the working drawings, I think the difference is that it's a process, so the drawing describes part of the journey that that the artist has gone on in terms of uh, ideas and creation and that's what kind of separates it from the rest of the drawing prizes I think. Debbie Hilliard who's Senior Director of Learning for Hauser and Work. We've been deliberating about the definition of a working drawing um, and that was certainly the dialogue from the start when we were making the selections and we discussed it as being a journey, as being a conversation, as being working something out, as not necessarily leading to an outcome, or sometimes leading to an outcome that wasn't expected, um, about trying to resolve a problem. Um, we noticed with some of the drawings over here that were almost that the artists set themselves a problem, and they used the drawing to try and answer their own questions. Um, so we didn't identify it as a single thing and I think the work here shows that a working drawing can take many different forms and emotions as well because we, we also talked about the aesthetic, emotional drive of some of the drawings and how some of, some of them were much more kind of calculated and um, less evidence of the drawer's hand and how much how important that was or whether it wasn't important at all and that was really interesting to some of the the works that we spent most time talking about actually and michael pavelka who's a costume and set designer for stage dance and opera why is drawing important It's, um, it's a way of externalising your thoughts, essentially. Putting it out in front of you so you can critique what you're thinking uh, and then show others what you're thinking. I always think of drawings as um, a document for negotiation, something that has an, another life to it and not a definitive solution to anything but something that is a work in progress and um, um, something that's essentially private uh, just before it goes public um, and that cusp between those two things is a fascination for me when do you go public with the drawing when do you show somebody something when do you reveal your thoughts about something. Um, and these are all very fine examples of different sorts of drawing and different uh, media, different 
thoughts, different purposes. Uh, and from different walks, walks of life, different professions. Some not from professions. Um, from animation to garden planning to architecture. Um, yeah, it's a fascinating world and it's expanding all the time. The definition of it is always up for grabs. And an exhibition like this um, demonstrates how wide ranging the field is now. It's a wonderful exhibition, it has a fantastic open submission and it's really a slice of drawing for 2023. Um, all drawings are made since January 2022, so all drawings are recent uh, and made by practitioners who may be artists, who may be designers, who may be engineers. Then some of them may not have had any art and design training, so some might be, come from a medical background uh, or other disciplines or, or ways of coming to drawing. So it's a wonderful celebration of drawing. It's an annual exhibition and in this year we also have a very special award which is the biennial Evelyn Williams Drawing Award of £10,000 which supports an artist to develop an exhibition for Hastings Contemporary in around 18 months time. So it's a great achievement to get into the exhibition, around 123 drawings in the exhibition overall. And then we have a first prize of £8,000, a second prize of £5,000, a student award, a working drawing award, and it's a fantastic celebration. A number of commendations, and we run, we have an education pack, we have a fully illustrated publication, we do lots of events and encourage a discourse, a dialogue, and people to draw. Um, 
And we're now going to move on to the other awards. So we are going to get quite a gathering on the stage, which makes a bit more air for everyone else. And I want the commendations first, which are here. So there are two commendations uh, awarded by Barbara Walker, Laura Hopman, and Dennis Scholl, and Samuel Awusu Akai, if you're here, who are commenting. <laughs> Much on board with that. 
and then we did various work with Wimbledon Art School with supporting people there. And then uh, about, I don't know, about 10 years ago now, we came up with another, less than that, we came up with another idea, which was where we are now, which was to work with the Gerald, um, as it then was, now the Prince of Wolf, to evolve a, a different project, which would be to enable artists to work over a period of time to develop their drawing for a full-scale exhibition. Um, and the first artist, of course, in that scheme, that, that was that went like a rocket because we started off with Barbara Walker, um, and then we had Penn McCarthy, and then Roland Dix, who show is about to open um, this next week, in fact. Um, so it's been a, a really going concern. It seems to be artists. I think the idea really was that artists in their late 20s, early 30s don't often necessarily always have a chance, even later than that don't always have the opportunity to develop a whole exhibition. They're too busy trying to earn a living, selling work, and all the rest of it. So the idea was to give them, to buy them time, make space and time to do that. And that's the idea of this whole award. Um, and that basically is where we are tonight. Um, I'd better get my details. I'm going to read the paper. That's the, that's the uh, thing. But, uh, anyway. Um, the judges, by the way, are just out. It's Anita, myself, and Leah Cross, Leah Cross from Hastings. And we did that earlier this afternoon. Um, and again, it's usual cliche that it was a terrific, a hard choice. But in the end, we unanimously came down on the side of, or in the, for the work of Isabel Rock. to be supported and recognised through an award. Financial awards are great, also in terms of recognition. And what I'd like to say is everybody in the show is an award winner. You're all here because you've been through an extraordinary SIFT process to be here and the commitment of everyone to make drawings, to share those drawings, to talk about drawing and to be here to celebrate drawing is really phenomenal. Um, we can't do this without all of you. It's a huge endeavour, but it's a huge endeavour supported by really amazing people. Uh, the support that Edward Williams gives to the Edward Williams Trust, but the support that Trinity Boy Wolf Trust give is unbelievably both generous and supportive of all of you in the room with works on the wall, particularly to our award winners. And we're really, really, really grateful that we have the most astonishing selection panels to work with us who independently select the work both for the Working Drawing Award and for the main award too. So can I say suggest that we have an enormous cheer for drawing first? Congratulations everyone, let's continue to celebrate drawing and enjoy.